that's super exciting guys. I have a lisp today because I started my new retainers. Day in the life. Speaking of day in the life, this little intro clip is just gonna be a look into what us leaders are doing during quarantine. We're not all just sitting around watching Netflix. I am currently on my way to work. I work until 7 p.m. And of course, I'm on my way to work. We're at work. It's been a long day. It's only like four o'clock. No, it's like 4.30 and I'm tired. I wanna go home. <laughs> hey guys, here we are um, at the mall and back at work. Uh, yesterday was my day off. So, you know, on my day off I like to do things that make me happy. I had a photo shoot yesterday, which was really fun and got ready for that. And then went for some Vietnamese food, um, social distancing with my best friend. And um, yeah, hung out with my family. It's kind of crazy how much you take advantage hanging out with your family when uh, when you feel like you don't have time, you know. But when we have all the time in the world to just hang out at home, it's like so peaceful and nice, and you forget how much fun you can actually have hanging out with your parents. So, yeah. Cut talk. It's finally Friday, and for the first time, I have Saturday off, so we're gonna have just a good weekend and relax and be outside. Throughout the weeks, we like to um, communicate with you guys, whether that be over FaceTime or text or whatever. So I had the opportunity to face Cora and Emily, and I'll insert a clip here. And I also got an opportunity to go on a walk. Uh, which is something that I never really did before quarantine and I'm gonna tell you something about walks Walks are probably one of the most healthiest things that I've done for my faith and growing in that because You're alone and you have the time to talk to God and listen to worship music while you're walking or going for a run I don't know if you health nuts out there <laughs> but it's probably one of the most peaceful and healthy things right now and if you drive, go for a drive. I'm telling you, there's no better feeling than filling your car with worship music and like feeling the rumble. Obviously, if you have a driver's license and a car, do it. Don't drive illegally. And with everything being closed and church being closed and not being surrounded by the same people who are going to encourage your faith, um, who might bring you down, that's why I just encourage going for walks and listening to worship music or going for drives. That's why I encourage all that because then you still get a moment with God and it might not be Friday night. It might be Monday morning because <laughs> who likes Mondays? But all I'm trying to say is make time, read your Bible. At the beginning of quarantine, I was like kind of lacking on reading my Bible because I was like, oh, I have all this time in the world, nothing to do. And I wasn't reading my Bible and I was like, wow. I always talk about how I never have enough time to read my Bible, and I have, now I have all the time in the world, and why am I not doing that? So do that, do it, just open it. Crack it open to random page because you never know what's gonna speak to you and what is just all of a sudden gonna make sense to you because God is speaking to you through his literal word. So, encouraging you to do all of that. I hope you guys have a safe week and hope y'all find some peace in whatever's going on in your life. And if you have any prayer requests, don't be afraid to reach out to leaders because we would love to pray for you all the time. We pray for you even when you don't ask us to pray for you. <laughs> so just let us know what's going on in your life. Keep us, up, keep, that's it. keep us updated, keep us informed. We want to know everything. Other than that, that's all I really gotta say. But have a good week and I'll see you guys soon. Hey, Anthony, hope you guys are doing well. It's your girl, Larissa. Uh, today we're going to sing Oceans by Hillsong United. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of us, if not all of us, have been seeing what's going on in the news and in our world more specifically in America and in Canada right now as well with these crazy outbursts of racism. But I feel that there is no better time than now to call upon the name of the Lord and ask for his spirit to lead and guide us in these crazy and heart-wrenching times. So let's just sing his peace over us 
in this time that we have together. And also if you're hurting and need to vent or just release or talk to someone, please reach out, like DM me. If you have my number, call me. Like this is not the time to do any of these things alone. And I'm not just talking to our students of color, but honestly, anyone, like any question, any wonderment, any frustration, like please, like this is the time to be a family. But first let's sing. Yeah, let's do it. Hello Anthem Youth, Pastor Hope and Pastor Jeremy here. We just want to come to you guys and talk to you guys about what's been happening in our world for the past couple of weeks. In America, in Canada, and around the world. There's this sense of a lack of hope, a lot of heartbreak, and lots of grieving. And just we just want to chat with you guys about that. Yeah, and our lead pastor, he recently put out a message, our response as a church on our North Point Community Church Facebook page, as well as their Instagram. And we just want to affirm what he was saying and that racism is a sin and that we believe that here at Anthem Youth that, that racism is a sin and that there's no place for it uh, in the Anthem family at all. And so we want to just continue the conversation about the real hope, new life, and lasting purpose that can only come through Jesus. And at Anthem, our Anthem is Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. And if you believe in Jesus and you declare his death and his resurrection, then you would share in the power and the testimony of the cross. And what took place on the cross with Jesus dying for our sins, opening us up to new life, really unifies us as the church body, as anthem. And because Jesus died on the cross, we get to be part of the family of God. We are all children of God because of what he did on the cross for us when he died for our sins and came back to life and his love that was shown through that. We want to take some time to share some scripture with you guys out of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 to 14. And this is what it reads. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, 
but all its many parts form one body. So it is with Jesus Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink, even so the body is not made up of one part, but of many. So we're all part of the body of Christ. So God created each one of us. He created us. He made us in his image. But not only did he just make us and leave us on the planet to be robots, mm -hmm. but he made each one of us with a purpose. So each one of us is given a special, unique purpose that we can only fulfill by God. And that's right, we all have a place, we all have a, a, a spot in God's family. And so with knowing that, with believing that, with, with having Jesus in our lives, we need to, to know that, that the enemy is not our brothers and sisters, it's not the family. And so we shouldn't be pointing fingers at other people in positions of discrimination and, and looking down at, any, at anybody, uh, at any people groups. Instead, together, under the same family, in unity, on the same team, we need to start pointing to the cross as a church family together in our uniqueness. We need each other. So in this time, we need to stand by one another. Absolutely. We need to stand firm in the love that is found in God. We need to grow our faith. We need to spend time in the word of God. We need to, we need to be standing firm together and loving our neighbors as ourselves. We need to be loud and consistent in our prayers in this time like no, no other time before. And together, we need to look to God and understand that he is gonna be where our source of hope comes from, especially in a season like this. So we're gonna take a moment right now and we're gonna to pray together as Anthem family for our world, for each other, and just trust God through this crazy time. So Lord Jesus, thank you God that you are good, that you love us so much, that you have created us with a plan and a purpose, God. And God, in this time of chaos, we are so thankful that your love is there, God, that your love is constant. And because you have loved us, that God, you have given us this ability to love others. In the confusion, in the heartbreak, in the grieving, God, that you have given us your love, God. And so Jesus, even though the world does not make sense, the situations of injustice and everything is around, God, thank you, God, that your love can penetrate through those things. And God, give us courage, give us boldness, give us wisdom though, give us discernment and help us to react in love, the love that you have shown us through dying on the cross for us. Thank you, Jesus, that you are surrounding us, you give us peace and you help us love others. We love you, Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, amen.